What is happening, Reject Nation? Greg and John here today. We are going to watch the trailer for the new Guillermo del Toro movie, Nightmare Alley. Yes, there is a 1946 movie. This is not a remake of that. Guillermo del Toro said that he actually read the book, started working on, like, perhaps developing the story, I think with Ron Perlman, before he even saw the 1946 film. So this is more of an adaptation of that. It's a horror noir. I'm excited to check it out. I thought it was coming out this morning. I was surprised it dropped when it did. Let's do it. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for this man. Can't wait. Shape of Water also a December release as well. <laughs> That looks great. That looks great, man. It's a Totoro movie that is, yes, horror noir, but there's gonna be no supernatural elements in here. I feel like, though, that for those who, I'm not familiar with the book, I haven't even seen the original movie, to be honest. I feel like that with the marketing of this, people will probably be inclined to think that there are gonna be supernatural elements. I keep saying man or beast, Guillermo del Toro, with the kind of visuals that they have, the way the framing is all done, and the way the colors are all lit, it looks like classic del Toro. So I feel like people might go into this thinking that it is supernatural, but it is indeed not supernatural. But John, what did you think of the trailer? Well, I pull up the official plot synopsis to communicate to the audience. I was very dazzled by this. I mean, I love any... Del Toro seems to really be at home in the period piece anything. Like, anytime mm -hmm. he's going back, I'm really looking forward to the vibes that he brings to it because I feel like a lot of people associate him with fairy tales and horror. Yes, there's certainly a lot of that, but I feel like he also does have a huge amount of love and a huge amount of his creative DNA comes from classic cinema. And so sure. I'm really excited to see him step into a world like this that, yeah, won't be heavily reliant on his classic creatures, giving him that, you know, sort of restraint or that challenge for this movie is really exciting to me because now it can be all about the themes and all about, you know, the beasts that lurk mm -hmm. within these characters. So, uh, yeah, as a teaser, I'm, I'm, this got me really excited. So here's the plot description here from Searchlight Pictures. In Nightmare Alley, an ambitious carny, Bradley Cooper, with a talent for manipulating people with a few well-chosen words, hooks up with a female psychiatrist, Kate Blanchett, who's perfect for period piece movies. She just has that look, who is even more dangerous than he is. <laughs> and of course, it's got this fully fleshed out cast. Leonardo DiCaprio, from my understanding, was originally the one who was cast to be in here. When he couldn't do it, Bradley Cooper had a meeting with him. I believe from the discussion that they had, it was mainly about their shared perspectives on life that formed this kinship between the two of them. I imagine that if this pans out well for them and it looks like it will because I love a good character descent performance. It's a noir piece so you know that this is going to have so much descent happening. <laughs> I imagine this will not be the last time him and Bradley Cooper work together uh, especially based off of the way they said their chemistry off camera was and their creative process together ultimately ended up being. But it's funny how like Ron Perlman was the one who's like worked with them of course on Hellboy, Pacific Rim. They have a reoccurring collaboration process. He's in the trailer. He's one of 
of the bottom of the list main cast members, but uh, he is a big inspiration for why this movie actually ended, ended up being made uh, to begin with. All the way, I think, back in the 90s is when he first read this book. Wow. I think this is a good transitional piece for Del Toro, who is coming off of an Oscar win for uh, director and best picture because it is a period piece. But I also think, though, that for fans of his work who are so used to, like, supernatural work that he often gets involved with supernatural or sci-fi, like Pacific Rim, they'll still have that element of mysticism here brought to, like, as you can tell, they're dealing with like carnies, and I imagine that you'll still get some awesome practical effects of the people we're surrounded by, like already the locations and the production design do look so grand and beautiful to behold. I love kind of like this isolated, nightmarish tone that it's striking, just from like the very first shot. You got this like loner here who is, uh, you know, traveling by bus, and then when he, he sees like the carnival taking place, it's like out of the middle of nowhere, and the only light coming from this darkness is the carnival. So there seems to be like a lot of themes and mood being omitted just alone from this trailer. And you know, like one thing that he's really good at doing is casting too, obviously bringing Richard Jenkins back from Shape of Water. Rudy Mara, who I think is a wonderful actress, is getting a, a day to shine here. And also, you know, like Willem Dafoe, who's freaking fantastic and perfectly cast for roles like oh, this too. Absolutely. And Toni Collette, <laughs> one of the most underrated actresses working today. Glad she's getting the recognition she absolutely deserves too. Yeah, well, and it seems like for Bradley Cooper, like I was just wondering like, what's going to be his next big thing? Because it seems like he's in a position now where he's kind of going to be cresting into the next phase of his career. And so to hear like that partly his leading in this movie came from, you know, having this conversation with Leonardo DiCaprio who is kind of up on that next or a couple rungs, mm -hmm. you know, up from him. You know, like it seems like this is the perfect next step in his career to, you know, really being, it's, it's funny, it's like the ensemble around this is like, oh yeah, all the character actors you would see in like a top director's movie. And Bradley Cooper is definitely A-list, but I feel like, you know, this could make him one of those guys who then you're gonna see in a bunch more movies like this, just being a veteran, filling out the yeah, cast, yeah. you know? And I love like, of course it's Del Toro, so you got like the romanticism elements here that are like fully on display as well. It feels like pure Del Toro, but also something refreshingly different from what he's offered before. So guys, what'd you think about the trailer? Are you excited for this movie? Please leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button. Uh, keep a lookout for our malignant movie reaction. Haven't been promoting that at all. But anyway, <laughs> Anissa Oliva. Anissa, yesterday was having an incredibly stressful four to nine a.m. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yesterday you hit me up and you were asking me like, "How are you doing?" I think you could tell that I was pretty stressed out about some stuff. And I just want to say thank you for uh, being there for me during a time that was uh, really challenging. So you you rock. You're just an amazing friend. I'm really happy to have you in our lives. And uh, I mean that sincerely. And if you were a uh, circus or a carnival performer, I would totally buy admission tickets to go watch you perform. Even if I didn't like what you were doing, I would still show my support because you mean that much to me. You circus freak you. <laughs>